Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Learn IT. Today we will be having another session for our use case scenario for requirement fulfillment which we use in our day to day development activities. If you are new to the channel, please like, share and subscribe to my channel Learn IT. Please watch my videos till the end for complete information. So now let's find out what is our use case. So we have to send email as recipients in CC or BCC. Okay, so now let's check what is our use case. So we have to add external users as CC or BCC under incident creation notification. Okay, so let's move further in my personal developer instance and show how we can implement this use case. So let's move further. Okay. As you can see, our ServiceNow instance is loaded here and let's try to implement this use case. Okay, so let me try to create use case for incident table. So let me search incident table here, incident dot list. So you can see our incident list is loaded here. Suppose let me take a new record here. And we will try to create a notification where we will add CC and BCC to the external users. Okay. So CC is like copied and BCC is like blind copied. Okay. So let's try to implement this solution. So we will check our incident creation notification that is already created in service now. So we will find where is that UI policy uh, notifications. Incident creation. So we have this notification which is created out of the box and we, we can see like it is marked who will receive is caller. Okay, so caller is fine. But uh, let, let us do one more thing like we can just create CC and BCC thing here. Okay, so this is out of the box uh, thing which we will not touch much. Okay, so we will try to create notification email script. Okay. So let me try to open this in new tab and let us try to create email script where we will define our CC and BCC user. Okay, so let us try to create notification script. Okay, so now what I will type here is like add CC or Okay, now I will write my code here email, email dot add address and there are like multiple parameters type address display name. So type is like what type of email it is like I will type cc and then we have to provide email address so I will provide my personal email id. Mr. Shine at the rate gmail.com. Okay, you can see Prashant Mr. Shine at the rate gmail.com. Okay, and we have to write display name as well. Okay, so now 
I will add same line here but just one change I will do is like I will do it BCC okay we can see our uh, email script is written email dot address CC and email or email dot add address BCC so we can check how this uh, CC and BCC will happen and how we can use this email script in our notifications okay let us try to cre create this email script now we will see how we can call this uh, email script so see there is already one email script called here okay so let me just add anywhere dollar mail hyphen script so this was our mail script which was added okay so let me try to save this so what we have done is like we have created one email script and this email script has been added to our notification template for body okay so we will see here our script is added here and now we will try to create a new incident before that I will open email logs and check whether we are we are getting any CC or BCC or not okay so we can just uh, add the field here copied blind copied okay so let me click on okay and we will see we will not get any C copied or blind copied any of the email okay now let us try to create our incident and see what happens caller would be let me select the caller as Aileen test incident and I will like to save this record okay this record is saved and now let us check I think this record is not saved let me try to save it okay so let let me check what is the invalid update let us try to create again and check whether it is executed Invalid update. Okay, so let me try to clear this. Okay, now I will try to save this record. Okay, so this record is saved now, and we will check whether it is executed or not. Okay. You can see I have generated this record and you can see we are getting a copied Prashant Mr. Shine at the rate gmail.com and blind copied also Prashant Mr. Shine at the rate gmail.com and the caller caller is the recipient so Alejandro Mescal you can see Alejandro Mescal is the user and user is getting email and recipient and copied is Prashant Mr. Shine at the rate gmail.com and BCC as well okay so this is all about this use case which I have implemented and many client would have been asked this kind of requirement. Okay. Please provide your comment if you have any questions, doubts or queries related to this session. For more information please visit description section under this video. 
Thanks for hearing me out. Stay tuned for more videos. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel Learn IT.